The race for a COVID-19 vaccine is heating up with Regeneron top of mind after the biotech company released some promising early results of tests using its antibody cocktail in COVID patients. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kamlani is back with us. So Anjali, what can you tell us here? What's the latest? Thanks, Alexis. We know that we've been hearing about Regeneron's cocktail therapy. It's a two-part therapy um, to help with reducing the time in hospital for hospitalized COVID patients. And we've seen the promising results there uh, now out um, in, in press release form and waiting to hear a little bit more in terms of the actual details. But what it does uh, sort of mirror is the news we saw earlier uh, this month from Eli Lilly with a similar uh, sort of result in terms of reduction of time and reduction of viral load in patients. And so right now, it looks like um, antibody therapies, oh, the momentum behind them and the hopes for them will come to fruition by the end of this year with both Eli Lilly and Regeneron likely to be approved, according to analysts. And we're looking to see just what that means um, also for the mortality rates. That still remains a question um, and just where sort of the most effective group of patients will be. But right now, looking positive at the very least for patients who have been infected, Regeneron also holding out on the idea that it could be used as a prophylactic as well, meaning um, a protection, sort of like a pseudo vaccine um, before getting infected. So waiting to hear more on that. All right. Also want to bring up a Moderna's stock uh, on the rise this morning from some vaccine news. We should mention also President Trump called out Moderna, J&J, &J, and Pfizer by name yesterday during the debate when talking about uh, companies working in vaccines. What's the latest there? That's correct. Um, just a point on the debate. He was talking about, um, in response to a question about the vaccine and when it would be available, claiming that he has spoken to the executives of these companies and they have promised it would be out earlier um, than what most of his top health officials have been saying, which is post-election reality. Um, so Moderna out with a publication of its extended phase one trial, and that is the testing in older adults. They did two doses, a, a, a a slightly um, a weaker dose and then a higher dose. And mostly positive, the uh, executives have said that before, but this was actually published um, in a medical journal. So we're getting to see that data. Um, so what, what it turns out is that this higher dose is more is just as effective on older adults as it is on that younger group of the uh, 18 to 55 year old. Um, and that is the same dose that's being tested in the current phase three trials. Um, and so looking at that, really some positive news uh, for that vaccine overall, but still remains to be seen uh, just when they get to that finish line, Alexis. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.